let's look at the other side of the political aisle, shall we? Yesterday, President Biden had his annual physical and his doctor released a report saying Biden is a quote, healthy, active, robust 81 year old male who remains fit to successfully execute the duties of the presidency. The report also addressed the way the president walks, saying his stiffened gait is caused by wear and tear on his spine and arthritic changes. But a lot of people are talking about the fact that Biden did not take a cognitive test. The White House says the doctor suggested that there was no reason to give him one. But others are pointing to the DOJ report that said that Biden had a quote poor memory. So DBL Nation always want to hear from you. Should Biden take a cognitive test? Yes or no? Go to dblvote.com to weigh in. Tori, you have some additional facts before we dive in. Yeah, just so you know, he had an extremely detailed neurological exam. It revealed no signs of trouble. Uh, physical drew on the expertise of about 20 doctors. Uh, uh, he does have some acid reflux, the stiffened gait, high cholesterol, but Trump posted crooked Joe Biden must take a cognitive test. Maybe that way we'd be able to find out why he makes such terrible decisions. I took two of them and aced them both. No mistakes. But remember, his was person, camera, woman, man. Can you remember five words? Those words would never be on a cognitive test because they're so similar and they would try and pick different words. So at this point, I get that his doctor doesn't want to give it because he sees no signs. We do. Yeah. We have a higher, you have a higher scrutiny as president of the United States. If you get the perks and privileges of being a president, then you have to go through higher scrutiny of testing. Period. Well said. Both Marie. people should do it. But you can't that, get the best and not the I worst agree. on should it. Should that be I, mandatory? I, I, Absolutely. Yes, it, could, it should be. And what, Tori, you're talking about is, is, I think, ideal in an ideal world. But how could we have any of these tests where they're not political, Erica? Who's giving them? Who's reading the results? I remember when I first heard the initial Biden assessment and, you know, called him a polite old doddering man or something. <laughs> it, they were adjectives made by somebody that was trying to insult him. That's what you do. That's not what uh, a doctor would say. And uh, so I think we're it's so strange that we as human beings and, and citizens, Eric, and I want to get your thoughts. Uh, we're, we're so staunch on not bringing any new blood into either party, mm. but then so staunch about these older men uh, it, adhering to these rigorous mental tests. It's like, it's us. If we wanted younger, we could go that, but our, we haven't been given the option or we haven't chosen it. Well, when you also ha don't have new blood, you also have people who are very staunch in their ways. There's just no room for flexibility of thought. Jeff touched on this yesterday. It's like, it's the idea that if Biden does say, okay, I'm going to take these tests. Is the other side going to do the same? There, there seems seemingly it seems to be that you can't walk things back like you talked about yesterday. There can't be any flexibility of thought because the moment that you take an inch, that inch goes to your opponent, and that's the type. How of, do we depoliticize it though, and just make it mandatory and have maybe a board of doctors, have an independent yeah. council? What do, do you it? think? Yeah, I, I wish it was like that. Even reading that thing about Trump, I don't care what Trump has to say. Let's just take what's right. going on with Biden, our president, and as a country say, hey, man, are you fit to do yes. this job? A couple weeks ago, Tori questioned me when I said, Biden's falling all over the place. She's like, no, he's not. Give me examples. I don't understand how the country changed its mind in just a couple of short I don't weeks. think he was falling a lot when you said it. And it wasn't a he couple of months ago. He fell three times ago. and I gave you three examples. Okay, but that was six months ago or more. And I've seen a sharp decline. Sorry, my timeline is okay, off. But my point is, I can't believe that liberals like yourself are coming around, far left liberals, I'm sorry to say that, but to, that are coming around saying, hey, there is a problem. When there's been a problem for a while. But we've seen but a now, sharp cognitive decline. Exactly. But my, Recently, though. my thing is, forget the test. Him turning down that Super Bowl interview that it, people do every single year, the biggest softball interview you could do, him turning it down speaks volumes. I agree with to you. Me. His actions, hit the way he walks, and you could write in and say I'm ageist, make up all these adjectives no, you want the about president. me. This is the president I of agree. the United States, yes, our I country, agree. To, to defend this nation. Yeah. And okay, and there's, there's problems. Yeah. Uh, listen, I'm just saying I can't believe now I'm happy yeah. that it is that way, that we can have this conversation because six months ago I was shut down having this conversation. I agree, and I think I've seen a more sharper cognitive decline than before. It should be apolitical. All right, let's see what our viewers have to say. Should Biden take a cognitive test? 74% of you say yes, 26% of you say no.